Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. In this video, I've got something very cool to share with you. If you're a content creator or just enjoy creating videos, thanks to Yuzu team member Selby, he's developed a very fun tool which will internally capture full speed video and audio taken from Yuzu regardless of in-game performance. So for example, imagine I'm playing Super Mario Odyssey at 10 FPS. The internal video capture from Selby's tool will still be a full speed in sync 60 fps graphically it will represent what the emulator offers in its current build so how's it done and who is it for in selby's own words it's a non real-time video capture tool originally for citra designed to provide full speed audio and video output without stretching regardless of actual emulation speed for now it seems as though it will stay as a passion project rather than be merged into main branch user unless of course there was a huge demand for such a feature. This isn't designed to replace your original user experience, simply offer something different for those who want it. Selby went on to say that it's a patch where FFmpeg runs in the background producing an mp4 video file. Video and audio frames are directly relayed from the emulator into FFmpeg which is the raw data before it gets scaled for UI etc or stretched for audio and are encoded based upon emulated timing not real time. Every frame is dumped into a named pipe which FFmpeg takes and is used as the source for timing. Audio is fed into a separate named pipe. In general the capture seems to work on 60 FPS. If you play in docked mode, the video resolution captured will be that of the game's native res, which in the case of Super Mario Odyssey is 900p. If handheld, it will be a smaller box in the main window. So who is this for? Well, for content creators like myself, it's the perfect proof of concept tool in games where it's currently impossible to reach the title's desired frame rate. A bit like this is how performance would theoretically be if it were full speed right now. Smooth video is more pleasant to look at than 5 frames a second in my opinion. Could people potentially use a tool to deceive others about performance? Yes they could but then that would make them a massive tool. A disclaimer should be used alongside such footage. Another argument could be why not just speed up your own captured footage from say Shadowplay. You could do that too but that would not provide accurate audio or ever be quite as smooth. As far as I know, it's Windows only and arguably the videos run a little quick, but to me it's a very fun tool to use. If you think you'd like to play around with this fun feature, then you can grab it from the link below. It's a completely self-contained Yuzu build with everything you need in one folder. If anything majorly changes, I'll update the link, but for now it's using Yuzu Canary Build 10.22. With the downloaded folder, all you need to do is load up the emulator and a game, remember to map your controller if you use one. The video recording will start automatically providing a file called test within the same folder. Recordings finish when you close your game. Now this feature will most likely take a hit on your performance, but if you didn't have much anyway, that's not much of a loss. If your in-game experience is 5 FPS, the video capture will be 60. As this is an experimental feature, don't be surprised if you experience bugs. I recommend managing the video test file as it currently only creates one. When booting a game, you'll be asked to overwrite your previous recording if one exists. Selby suggests closing Yuzu after each gaming session to ensure your recordings. So there you have it, it's super easy to use and extremely cool to watch back your experience in full speed. So grab it and give it a try. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. If you dislike the content, dislike. If you liked it, leave a like. And remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more. I'll catch you in the next one.